Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about permissions in file system. Every file has a set of permissions. So associated with it, which determine who can do what with the file. So who means? So there are three types of users. We discuss when you are login with your username and password then the unique system identifies your user id if you enter the username and password so these two are the correct then the unique system identifies that you are the user and one id is allocated to you so that means one type of the user is user and second one is when you are logging into the system then you are assigned to one group id so that is the second one so that means you are belongs to some one group id and all the ordinary users are placed in a group called others so that means this is the other means here determine who can do what with the file for example there is a file so sample dot txt let us assume so this is the sample.txt so who can do what with the file means the user can do what with this sample.txt the people belongs to this group id so those people what they can do with this sample.txt and what the other people do on sample.txt so permissions means every file has set of permissions so what is the permissions means there are three types of permissions either you can read or write or execute so these are the permissions so this is the r this is the w this is the x so permissions associated with it so that means so these are the permissions allocated to sample.txt and so which determine who can do what with the file who means so that means when you log into the system your belongs to the user and your belongs to one group id and all the remaining people are go treated as others now so what the user can do this with sample.txt what the group people can do this sample.txt what the others can do with this sample.txt so unix file system determines what you can do by the permissions so granted to your uid and group id so uid means user id group id means the set of similar user ids we are called as a group id for example so your belongs to csc second year now so the numbers are 501 to 516 so 501 is user id and this user belongs to a group csc second year so that means all these 60 members belongs to csc second year and individually they have one user id so that is a user id and group id based on these the unix system determines what you can do by the permissions okay so let us discuss with one example so for example how we can list the files means by using the ls command by using the ls command after that i give hyphen l long listing format now it displays one message like this we take this one this part up to this one so this is about the file type so these are the permissions we discuss so this is the username so this is the group name so this is the size so this is the time last modification and this is the file name so already we discussed in our previous classes when we discuss about the ls command so what are the permissions r w hyphen r hyphen hyphen r hyphen hyphen okay so now the first three letters r w hyphen so these belongs to user id so next three belongs to group id so last three belongs to others now the user can r r means can read the data w can write the data and hyphen means the user cannot execute this file that means user have the permissions to read to write and don't have the permission to execute 
and similarly next three group id so your group id have the permissions to read only so remaining no permissions and similarly others only are they can read the data and they cannot write or they cannot execute this file so this is about the permissions in the unix so now we see the permissions so these are the files available on the desktop now we can check ls hyphen l so if you observe that so these are the permissions so r w x that means the user can read write execute the group members can read write execute the others read they cannot write and execute and similarly for the file one so these are the permissions so read write there is no execution permission read write there is no execution permission for group and there is no write permission to the others